Welcome everybody. Today we're putting a new spin on the old Diet Coke and Mentos trick, but instead of using Mentos, we're gonna be using an ultrasonic cleaner. A fellow YouTuber, Lindsay Wilson, tipped me off to this trick. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different experiments today, like trying to see if I can pop the cork out of this champagne just by placing it in the ultrasonic bath, and we'll be able to record everything using the new Kronos high-speed camera system, which just launched on Kickstarter, by the way. So the first thing I wanna try is comparing the reaction to the ultrasonic cleaner method to the classic Mentos and Coke. So the camera comes with an external trigger and it runs in something called end trigger mode. That means the camera is always recording something, but when I press the trigger, it'll save the previous four seconds before I press the button. The ultrasonic cleaner was way more powerful than the diet soda. All right, for our next experiment, we're gonna be testing out the difference between a hot soda and a cold soda, and we'll see which one sprays up higher. I've got this FLIR thermal imaging camera, and it says that one is about 113 degrees, and the other is about 91 degrees. It's not, whatever. So let's see what happens. Go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Go. Yeah. Wow, that happened so fast. So let's take a look at the high-speed camera and see which one was more powerful. The winner is clearly the hot soda, and that makes sense, it's true, because chemical and physical reactions both happen faster at higher temperatures. I think the way that the soda foam falls back down in slow motion just looks so cool. Awesome. Every slow motion shot in this video was filmed at 1500 frames per second, and that's at a resolution of 1280 by 720. Now this camera can go down to 21,000 frames per second, but we're only watching sodas go off in this video, not guns or explosions. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on first, let the pressure build up, and then shoot it. Okay. See what happens. Oh man! All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that went so far. Oh man. That went into their yard. No matter how much you sonicate these bottles, they won't explode. The plastic is just too thick, but there's still no match for bullets. This is an ultrasonic cleaner, and at the bottom of this metal pan, there's a special speaker that vibrates up and down like 20,000 or 40,000 hertz. The high frequency, high energy vibrations in the water cause bubbles to form through a process called cavitation. And because of the bubbles that are formed and the mechanical vibrations, that's how it cleans things. Uh, a good example, because you're always asking me about it, would be the ring that I wear. No, I'm not married. Uh, I made this ring, and I actually like it a lot, and that's why I wear it. I made it out of an old quarter. I hammered it about a bazillion times, and then I drilled it out and it took forever. So you put it in the water, you press this button, and science happens. I know you're thinking it. What happens if I stick my fingers in here, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, ow! It does feel funny, it does feel strange, but uh, it's very tingly. It kind of feels like a little electric shock. Probably don't try that. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, it feels really weird, though. All right, unfortunately that soda couldn't explode. I think that the uh, bottle is just too strong and can handle any kind of pressure that builds up. But what about something that's made to pop off? So, I got this bottle of champagne. We're gonna put it in here and we're gonna see if we can cause a carbonation. I, di I didn't even put it in yet, what a waste. All right, so we got two more bottles of champagne and I got the same kind because, you know, in the interest of science, not because I'm cheap or anything like that. So, nice. Oh God! Be nice, be good. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! It works! Three, two, one. Whoa! Hey, well, third time's a charm. It actually did work, and this is probably the coolest way to open a champagne bottle. Next time you're at a party and you have an ultrasonic cleaner, definitely try this out. 
And speaking about cool things, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about this camera. It is incredible. So I've used phantom cameras before. The camera I'm recording on right now, the RX-10, is also a slow motion camera. And this thing is my favorite. It is awesome. So this camera was entirely built and manufactured in everything by one person on YouTube. His name is David. He has a YouTube channel, Tesla 500 and Will It Mo. It has variable frame rate. You can set it from like 1500 frames per second at 720p all the way down to like 25,000 frames per second at reduced resolution. But look at Tau Flader Mouse's video. He has awesome bullet shots. Anyway, this thing just launched on Kickstarter. Get yourself an awesome Christmas present. I love this thing. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.